Olé, 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 olé. Pelé is the subject of a new Netflix documentary of the same name. And one thing I learned immediately is that I've had the emphasis on the wrong syllable my entire life. This documentary tells the story of iconic footballer Pelé, his quest for perfection, and the mythical status he attained. Did you know he was only 17 when he was called up to play on the World Cup team for the 1958 World Cup? It's crazy at how young he was, and then what he did from there. This documentary gives us a good picture of Pelé as he played for Brazil, and we have interviews with the legend himself, along with discussions with his sister, former teammates and coaches, as well as even journalists and political figures. These interviews are then supported by the massive amount of news footage that spans a little bit more than a decade's worth of time. Now, if you're looking for a gotcha-type documentary, or even one that goes into all the nooks and crannies of Pelé's personal life, you're going to be disappointed. This isn't a deep dive into his life off the pitch. We do get a little bit of his family background from when he's a young boy, though, but not a ton. And we also get a little of part of his personal life when he's married, but again, it's pretty surface level and it doesn't go into great detail. We do get candid thoughts from Pelé though, especially when it came to growing up or even his first wife. This documentary primarily focuses on his time playing for Brazil and why he became known as one of the greatest to ever play the game. Through this focus on his contribution to Brazilian football, we also get to see how the social and political landscapes were at the time in his country. I thought it was interesting to see how there was this concept known as Brazilian mongrel complex, where Brazilians looked down on themselves and their country. But when the football team started winning, it gave the citizens a new perspective on themselves and a reason to be proud of their nation. I thought that transformation was really cool to watch. This also dives into some of the politics going on in Brazil at the time and really builds a good picture of how the political landscape shaped the country's outlook and morale and why the 1970 World Cup became so important. I found it informative from a cultural perspective because I honestly didn't know a ton about Brazil. And I'm not saying I am now just an expert on the country by any means, but I do have more knowledge about what was going on during this time and how it affected the people because I got to experience this documentary. And for instance, I didn't know that it was under a dictatorship for a number of years. The show weaves this information in while discussing how apolitical Pelé was and how that because he didn't voice a political opinion, it rubbed some people very wrong because he didn't use his influence to the advantage that they believed he should. I also like hearing directly from Pelé on some of his thoughts during that time. It removes a lot of the speculation and gives us firsthand knowledge of somebody's thoughts. I got to say, this is a nice change of pace from some of the documentaries I typically watch. The majority of the ones are really deal with true crime, so to have one that is just a human interest story was really nice. And sure, this one is pretty much only focusing on the positives of Pelé and his contribution to the game, but I think that's fine. I mean, to focus on a positive story just didn't bother me. I think this is especially the case because it's just fun to watch all the great plays and the great game footage that this documentary contains. And now I'm not a sports guy and I typically don't even follow football, but I do really enjoy watching the World Cup. And because I don't follow sports, I don't have a team to root for. So I end up typically rooting for the underdog. And it was this last World Cup in 2018, I was rooting for Iceland. Eh, it didn't win though. I don't think you need to be a sports fan to enjoy this because it really is a focus on a human story. But I do believe that your enjoyment will be greatly enhanced if you really enjoy the sport. This is an hour and 48 minutes long and I never got bored. I mean, there are so many clips of games that kept the excitement up. I found it really engaging to watch this massive collection of highlights showing what made him one of the greatest in the game's history. The story is told in a linear fashion. It flows pretty well, but the beginning was a tiny bit rough because the years were a bit vague in how the documentary was presenting them. I had to pause the show and look up some of the details on Pelé just to make sure I was following along correctly. I mean, it's way more impressive to know that he played his first World Cup before he was 18. And had I not looked up his birth year, I wouldn't have been sure that he was actually born in 1940. I mean, the documentary does make mention of it, but not in a way that made me feel confident I heard the correct information. Now, Pelé did have a career after he stopped playing for Brazil, but the documentary barely touches on this. Only about the last two minutes show how he began playing for a New York team and how that then was a really large introduction of soccer to the U.S. Because this doesn't dive into all the negatives and the darker corners of his life 
or really even much of his life off the field, I can understand how this may feel a little like a fluff documentary. And that's a pretty accurate impression, but I really did find the positive tone to be refreshing. So if you're into football or enjoy stories that highlight achievements, this is a good one to watch. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some violence. I certainly recommend checking out the documentary Pelé. Do you follow football? Do you have a favorite team? Or are you really familiar with Pelé and his contribution to the popularity of the sport? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. Goal!